Welcome to my week 4 battle for low tier mayhem season number 1. This week my team the Miami Palafins are going to be taking on Jacob as always coach of the Green Bay Pikachus. Be sure to check him out in the description down below with all the other coaches taking part in low tier mayhem. Jacob has a fairly bulky team with hard hit with hard hitting Pokemon like and bulky Pokemon like Suicune, Claude Sires, Sylveon, and Registeel. In conjunction with good utility mons like Psych Cyclazar, hard hitting attackers like Embor and Decidueye, and fast attackers like Espeon and its Terra Captain Yamega is no slouch. Though it does have the have the downside of having a four move of a bad four move slot syndrome against my team in particular. Despite all of that, I tried to bring, build the best team possible to deal with any combination of six Pokemon he may bring. First off, we have our Moltres with Flare Blitz, Brave Bird, U Turn, and Roost, which hits the vast majority of his team for a good amount of damage. I can easily take a modest, unboosted uh, Ancient Power from Yen Mega, modest Yen Mega from full. With my HP investment, I have enough speed for shift for max speed shift tree, and the rest of the EVs are put into attack to increase Moltres' overall damage output. Next up, we have Cobraberry Frostlass, similar to last week with Poltergeist, Triple Axle, Ice Shard, and Spikes, which is just nice for being able to get a residual damage on his team with Spikes. And if I can win the speed tie against his Espeon, I can potentially knock it out with Poltergeist in a pinch. Ice Shard is here to potentially get rid of Cyclozar in a weakened state, and Triple Axle can do a lot of damage to Pokemon like Claude Sire, which has lower defense than special defense. Then we have my The Dunsparce with Heavy Duty Boots with Boomer, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and Roost. This set does do a bit of work here considering his normal immunity is Decidueye, and Reggie Steel does get set up upon if it's not Iron Defense Body Press. I have enough speed to guarantee outspeed 8 speed Sylveon. And the rest of the EVs are put into HP and defense to take better hits from his physical attackers from Pokemon like Decidueye. Then I have my leftover Swamper with Earthquake, Ice Punch, Bulk Up, and Stealth Rock. This set is designed to take hits from Pokemon like Sylveon if it's defensive and hit hard and hit it back hard with Earthquake. As I'm marking enough attack investment to guarantee two KOs fist step Sylveon after a bulk up with Earthquake. Ice Punch lets me hit super hits lets me hit Pokemon like Yamega. Pre Terra and the Central Harvest for the damage, and Stealth Rock is there to, to get some residual chip against the entire team. Then, for the first time all season, I'm finally bringing Appleton off the bench. This set does do a bit of work here against all Pokemon not named the Situai, but the idea behind this set is to be a better switch in the Pokemon to his main threat, Embor, as I don't really have a good response to that thing, especially if it's not Choice Scarf. So, I want to be able to have something to reliably switch into that thing, which is where Thick Fat Fizz Dev Appleton comes into play. Especially after an Iron Defense, Embor can't 2 a KO me afterwards. And even if I don't have an Iron Defense up, it can't 2 a KO me regardless unless he's Life Orb or Choice Bandit. Fizzly Defensive just makes the most sense to, to increase my overall tanking ability to take hits from not only Decidueye, but from his Embor and even Cloud Sire as long as it's not set up. Finally, I have my Venomoth rocking Terra Psychic Twisted Spoon this week with Psychic Noise, Bug Buzz, Quiver Dance, and Morning Sun. Psychic, Terra Psychic with my special attack investment allows me to guarantee 2 a KO Fizz Death Unaware Cloud Sire with Psychic Noise. Psychic Noise is also beneficial here as it allows me to prevent Pokemon to prevent Cloud Sire from going for recover, prevent Suicune from going for rest, and prevent Sylveon from going for wish. And I'm also running enough speed on this set to guarantee outspeed and adamant max speed to Situi. So that's the team for week 4 of Low Tier Mayhem, season number 1. With all that out of the way, let's head on over to the battle. Alright guys, here we are with week 4 of Low Tier Mayhem, taking on Jacob as always, coach of the Green Bay Pikachus. And he did not bring Yen Mega. Freaking hell. Alright, he, well he brought most of the stuff I was expecting. Yeah, Suicune, Decidueye, Registeel, Espeon, Embor, I figured was going to come in some capacity, and the Sick Wizard. So, in terms of a lead, um, well, I did tell myself that if I did see Sick Wizard, I was going to lead off with Frostlass immediately and try to knock that thing out. That would be the best case scenario. Um, he didn't bring Shift Tree, so my Terra Psychic Twisted Spoon um, Psychic Noise uh, Venomoth is going to be doing some events work here. 
and Appleton can check the uh, Embor with Thick Fat and its Fist Dev. He didn't bring Sylveon either, so there's like, unless it's Wish Espeon, he can't, he doesn't get reliable recovery to something. But in any case, good luck, have fun to Jacob. Hopefully we can look to get to 3-1 and one on the season. Um, but I'm still really concerned about the Suicune Shredder. Okay, just leads straight off with the Suicune. See, so we see pressure. So, what's my play here? I kind of just want to, like, get damage off on this. If I'm being totally honest. At the same time, though, what's my alternative play? Cause he can just calm mind in my face. But I'll just, I'll just try to get damage off the Bolter Base. Yeah, see leftovers. 25%. Oh, he just starts it. it. does get the burn though, which sucks. Oh, but I disabled Scald anyway, so it's fine. See what I can do now. Let us. I could get up a spike. No, actually, that's that's a waste. Let me not get up a spike. Um, let's just go straight into the Dunsparce. With no Yen Mega, then with no Yen Mega, this doesn't really do much for me. And he can, um, call mine right now. Oh, he's just gonna switch out. Into what? Cyclozar? Demo. Oh, yeah, it is Cyclozar. Perfect. Alright, so... Let's see, what do I want to do here? Um... I don't want to sack Frost last right now. I also don't want to get knocked off for no reason. I can always boom burst first for damage, and then go from there. Let him knock off my boom. Oh, he just switches out. Does he go in? I guess I could have Shadow Balled to be perfect. No, nah, I wasn't going to Shadow Ball in front of the Sickless Heart. Josh. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Oh, he expected me to get up rocks. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so he's about that roughly half for 50%. Let's, um. Let's see, what's my point? Do I just sack off? I feel like just sacking off Frost Last and then going Moltres with the play. As much as I didn't want to do that. I think I feel comfortable doing that though. I don't want to get randomly tricked or anything. This could also be like dual screens too. <sighs> I have to say something. I just had to say something. What if he's dual screens, guys? <laughs> um, the problem is, Burt Poltergeist does not kill this like clay uh, Espeon. I at the ideally, at the very least, I would try to win the speed tie and attack it before Reflect goes up. It's also not the end of the world because I do have setup options on my side of the field. Uh, he's gonna withdraw though, so he's going back into Sigma's R. Yeah. Hmm. So the fact that he went hard into this, he could just knock me off, but this could also be like shift gear. 
But even if he has shift gear, can he kill me in any one hit with anything? I don't think so. I'm trying to think here. Because he's definitely going to outspeed and kill me. I could have, I could have like sharded, but it didn't really make any sense. Like, do I at least disable this? The crit didn't matter. Okay, I disabled the, the knockoff. All right, so we did. So there's something going. There. So, uh, false pass was down. Star. Um. So, what's my plan now? Do I go back into? Spars done, actually. I could go Moltres. Yeah, I could go Moltres instead. Yeah, let's do that. So, his Brave Bird switching is Suicune. I can U-turn out of Suicune into Apple Tongue, if I want to do that route. I can also just go back into the Dunsparce too. Yeah, really hoping Strauss has at the very least going to Skull Burned or whatever. Double into perk though. Just to see if he. I don't think it has a rock move or something to hit me with. But I want to keep more chance for the for that more. Alrighty. Alrighty, you turn. So, he's just like. Okay, so it's just utility. Yeah, he's not. Okay, there's no way. He's rapid spin, U turn, knockoff. There's no way in hell his last move is shift gear. He's just a utility set. So he goes into the Sigilite now on my uh, on this part. And what do I do afterwards? Hmm. I guess my switch into this. I can't even go Moltres because it from um, long reach pops. Long Reach doesn't trigger Flame Body. Hmm. I can also just go to Dunsparce. Like, that's not a bad play either. So let's just do that. Pulsar guys, perfect. Alright, so I got that play right. Um, how many how many sounds of light screen are still up? Uh that's not it. Two. Okay. So so I know it's like play SBLM. Do I call mine with a shadow ball or do I just call shadow ball for damage? Because you could technically stay in. But at the same time, what what does he gain from? Like he's probably just gonna U-turn something. Into sick was Or just rise. Um, this should have been Okay, that did 10. I got the 
Let's give me that drop, though. Weakness policy. Fuck! Okay. I have to hope it's not because I have a priority move. I have to hope it's not a priority move. Let's be trail boys. That was plus four. Light screen is off. Alright, I know it's full set, but that doesn't help me right now. Uh, I think I actually just went 6 0 here. Because Poltergeist KOs. It's plus 4, so Poltergeist KOs. literally my entire team. Except for. Except for Appleton. Like, literally, Appleton's doing that thing. Out of this is that he has to like miss her poltergeist. I really just gave him this swing, Jesus Christ. from that too. I so gave that to him. Insane. Like, I'm not even mad. I, I'm just really, really impressed. I honestly can't be mad. All the things that was gonna come and sweep me. Never did I think SD Trailblaze. Um, this. Sorry. Yep, GG. So I get 6 0 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Absolutely insane. All I can do is laugh, man. All I can do is laugh. So yeah, I got 6 0 <laughs> Uh, what else can I say, man? Like, I gave him that weakness policy boost and the rest was history. I, maybe I could have gone into Moltres on the, um, on the Decidueye, but... I, I mean, that was probably my best case scenario if I did that instead, but... Jesus! Yeah, if I went Moltres on the Decidueye instead of attacking with the, with the Dunsparce on the, uh, the Shadow Ball, that would have been a lot more sense. 
I was so worried about Embor in the back that I didn't even think about the situation by putting in a switcher. And I was never burning it with Flame Body because of Long Reach not making contact with any of my attacks. Yeah, I probably could have lived. I probably could have lived plus two Poltergeist, but definitely not plus four. So yeah, I only have myself to blame for that. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a rough uh, way to enter the halfway point. Two and two minus two, but. Uh, yeah, at some point I will bounce back. Uh, there's still four more weeks to play, and uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty embarrassing, all things considered. But uh, yeah, props to props to Jake, uh, to Jacob. I can't really um, be mad about that. Like he brought an amazing um, DCGY set. This is probably the most you'll ever see DCGY put in work uh, for the most part. But yeah. Um, again, I can't really be mad about that. I only have myself to blame for not prepping for SB weakness policy to situate. But in any case, uh, I'll leave it at that. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Check out Jacob. Check out all the other coaches taking part in Low Tier Mayhem. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next time, this is Tone signing off for now. Peace out.